first guest this hour. Uh, their names are Gladys Njiru and Perpetual Wanjuku. Karibuni sana to the show. Thank, Thank you. you so much. This, of course, is our Change Makers uh, Hour. Every Thursday, we like to focus in on change makers, people who are doing amazing things to impact uh, their society and the communities around them. And you guys turn waste into art. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, you know, for most of us, I don't know if you were to take a look inside your garbage can, of course, all you would see is just trash and chafu and smelling things. Um, and you have to kind of wonder, you know, how much do you throw away per week? Uh, do we think about recycling some of those products or, products or upcycling them into something else? And more specifically, where does all of that trash go? I shared with you earlier that image in Mombasa following the floods and how all of that takataka was just sort of flowing into someone's doorstep. Now, these ladies here actually recycle waste and turn it into something different. That's really cool. How did you guys get started with this? Well, um, first, let me introduce myself. I'm Papicho Lanjiku. Mm -hmm. I'm the founder of Crewan, and that is Creative Waste Network. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, hi, my name is Gladys, and I'm also a member of Crewan. I'm also an environmentalist, and yes, we turn waste into art. Okay. Yeah. All right. So to the question then, you know, how did you get into this? Well, uh, actually, Crewan was inspired by the desire to conserve the environment. Yeah, and uh, we started this like I'd say a while ago, but now coming together as a group, we, we started it like a month ago. Yeah. Oh, just a month ago. Yeah. Okay. So you have an environmentalist background. Yes. What about you? Yeah, same here. Same as yeah. well. Okay. Um, so, you know, looking at, I don't know if you guys have seen the images of, you know, trash billowing in the coast. Actually, I have it on uh, my screen. Maybe we can pull it up for these ladies to see uh, because maybe you guys are seeing a gold mine here of different things that you could use to um, improve the environment. So, uh, Dan, can we get this up? All right, I can't seem to get our team uh, on board here, but uh, um, there's an image that was circulating, of course, through our papers on um, trash following floods in Mombasa County. Okay, so I guess the first question to ask would be, what sort of trash do you guys use? In, in some ways, it sounds like not all trash is equal for the sort of projects that you guys are trying to do. Mm -hmm. So uh, actually, we recycle plastic. Mm -hmm. We recycle also glass waste, cloth waste, and also paper waste. So for now, our focus is on those. Okay, yeah. glass, plastic, plastic, cloth paper. waste, and paper waste. Okay, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. And where do you where do you go? You know, to get this, <laughs> to, to get this trash, do you guys? Because you know, you know, ni was na rembo, so I'm just trying to picture you guys <laughs> somewhere oko. Chakurai in takataka, looking for glass, plastic, clothing waste. How do you guys actually source the materials that you use to create your art? Um, well, like, uh, like right now, we haven't really begun collecting garbage, probably from dump sites or anything, because mm -hmm. we're just getting started. So right now, we just maybe collect from our neighbors any trash that we're having in our homes. Mm -hmm. And so uh, one of our long-term goals, for example, for next year, is to actually go collecting waste in maybe dump sites and in other places. But like right now, maybe if we attend a conference or something, a meeting that has maybe plastic bottles, we come up and we collect them and go and recycle them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow, so you'll attend a meeting, yeah, you guys will live with the plastic yes, bottles. Yes, spoons yeah. and anything else that wow. can be upside Do people find it weird when you <laughs> ask them, like, yo, ebu to fungezi, you call? You know, like, actually people are like, Ay, what are you trying to do? But someone who has an idea that we are trying to beat plastic pollution right now is Kenya, yeah. they won't even ask. Actually, they'll Absolutely. be over and be like, ah, let me help you, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. So when it comes to making the art, then were you guys also also artsy? Um, or are there, did you consider other ways of recycling that trash? Or, you know, why art specifically? Okay, uh, basically, actually we are six of us, and all of us, we are gifted in different ways of art. Yeah, there are those who do crocheting, some of us can do drawing, you know. And uh, so we are like, okay, you know, you really need to get something whereby you, you're you not getting tired of it because it's your passion. And mm. we thought of how can we conserve our environment using the passion that we have. Mm -hmm. And since we all, all of us are gifted with art, different ways of art, we decided to focus on it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I want us to take a look at some of the pieces that you guys have actually done. So we have a mini display here on the table, and I can already tell that one over there, those are spoons. Mm -hmm. yeah. Feel free to grab it, by the way, um, and you can just show us. Okay. 
Um, so those are those are plastic spoons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is wow. plastic spoons. Mm -hmm. You can show it to the cameras. There you go. So plastic spoons, and then is that paper at yeah, the bottom? Yeah, this is this is a newspaper actually. A we just newspaper. made it into a flower. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And you spray it. <laughs> and then yeah. you just use uh, like um, some spray paint. paint. Yeah, spray paint. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, and so far, are you you guys are now selling this art? Yeah, we sell, uh, but right now we have to say that probably it's just individually. Okay. So you see, we just are uh, beginning. So we look forward to maybe having something bigger next year okay. where we can be able to sell as a group and as a team. So mm -hmm. right now we just, if you make something, you can sell individually and then there's a certain percentage that you're supposed to bring into the organization. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's smart. That's smart. Mm -hmm. All right. So let me see that. That's actually newspaper and plastic spoons. Yeah. Very cool. And this could, you know, you can put this on your wall yeah. somewhere. Maybe we can have this one hanging over here. <laughs> That's really nice. Right? It looks nice. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Um, so let me see. Let's look at this one then. Tell me about this one. So is everything on this waist? Yeah. Actually, wow. uh, these are uh, tissue rolls on top here. And then the the placard actually is a placard. We had gone for a climate walk. Yeah, I and see that. In fact, yeah. I'm gonna show it. Okay, <laughs> we had gone for a climate strike just some, for the a month ago. Yeah. But they, this is the back of this thing. Exactly. So they had gone for a walk. Okay, yeah, you guys were walk. Yeah, using yeah, these as placards. Waste, yeah. So and everyone, everybody was throwing the placards everywhere, and we thought, ah, this one can make a good ad, and yeah. so we took it. Right. Yeah. And hopefully and the camera is picking up these colors here, but there's mm -hmm. like gold and silver mm -hmm. uh, spray paint that has been used. Yeah. Are these, this looks very familiar. Tissue rolls. <laughs> tissue rolls. <laughs> it's a bit to on your bunny. Yeah. Everybody has these, mm -hmm. I'm sure. Yeah. Um, but tissue rolls, and you've just like cut them into strips then. Yeah. 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 And then wow. you, come, you glue them together. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, so it's not even like a very complicated project. Mm. It's not at all. Maybe this for someone one. else it is, I don't know. <laughs> but for us it's easy. What I like though is like even, you know, as we're going into this, I mean, it's getting into December, schools are closed. These are things that you could do with kids. Yeah, mm. sure. Right? And yeah. even start like teaching them about conserving mm. the environment mm. and, you know, taking care um, about how they dispose their waste. Mm. This one is a little fancier. So this mm -hmm. one has added a mirror on top. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. I don't want to <laughs> glare the mirror on you guys, but I don't know if that's okay. Uh, there we go. There we go. So this one has a mirror. Then they've put these like nice little beads on it. And mm -hmm. again, it's still the same tissue roll. Yeah. Yeah. And you can leave it like this, or I guess someone can spray paint it. it, yeah. it. Yeah. Is this another placard? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is another placard. Yeah. Okay. Tell me then about this one. Mm. That That's a uh, flower vase we tried to make using a plastic bottle. You can just turn just it simply. Oh, as the other way around. So when you have a fanga, you have a German yakupaka. it upside down. It's <laughs> our. Yeah. Um, so this is a flower. Oh, it's a bottle. Plastic yeah, bottle. It's a plastic bottle. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So, ukimaliza kukunywa maji. Wait, all of it is the bottle? Yeah. yeah. You know, just like cut it into pieces and then you, you fix them under there. And then how did you... Wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah, yeah, with the flower, it's loose. Mm -hmm. uh, really, really nice. Cool. <laughs> yeah, no, I like it. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm even thinking you could do like all sorts of gimmicky things with this. Even if you wanted like the big ones, you could make yeah. these like little party hats. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> right? Like yeah, for a yeah. kid's party uh -huh. or something, yeah. it could be their craft and mm -hmm. then they have something to put on top of mm -hmm. their heads. Tell me about those ones. You can pick them up and show us as well. What are those? So these are plastic uh made from plastic bottles you see like the ring of a bottle you can, yeah yeah so we cut them into different sizes and then we use some beads and fix them and make some yeah. bracelets can, out of yeah, them. Yeah, exactly this one shows better wow. this plastic bottle this is a plastic bottle yeah. and then you just <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah that's pretty amazing that yeah. you know one would use a plastic bottle to do some jewelry yeah. so here we have that one let me put on this other mm -hmm. piece as well Da, 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 da. <laughs> all right so yeah. this again something one can do at home mm -hmm. and I, I i like that i feel like it's a challenge that 
because I feel like our recycling processes here in Kenya are not very established, not mm -hmm. very well organized. Mm -hmm. But this could, you know, you don't have to wait for someone like exactly. to, to come and collect your mm -hmm. trash and recycle it for you. Like exactly. in many ways, you could decide to just start doing this at home. Uh -huh. yeah. Right. Is this another flower vase? Uh, that's more of a pencil holder, just like the other one there. But uh, no, this one is from plastic. Okay. And this one is from paper waste. This is again Nichupa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. New Nichupa. Nichupa Yamaji. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wow, and then it's ribbon and you know just some decorations yeah. around it. You can yeah. even use it as a flower vase, makeup holder. Yeah. Uh -huh. So for those of you who you know you really like doing home deco and things, you will know those things get really expensive. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. So this would be a good way for you to not only help out the environment but also you know beautify your space and bring in your personality into it. And this okay, this one looks complicated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What is it's this one? A, it's a makeup uh, holder or pencil holder. And how did you how did you make this? You just uh, okay, wow. You just use Manila papers and you fix them into different shapes and uh, you glue them together. What? <laughs> so, eh, eh, okay. This one is complicated. <laughs> it's not, it Let me show you the inside though. But the mm -hmm. detailing is really really cool. Mm -hmm. um, I really like this, and it's Manila paper. You said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, imagine this in like a kid's classroom or some place, yeah. you know, just mm -hmm. really fun like or even your kid's bedroom for mm -hmm. all their crayons mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Exactly. Or okay. even an office. Or even an office. Yeah, yeah you'd have a very brightly <laughs> colored office, exactly. but you could do it with I guess muted it, colors. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um then here of course we have some bottles. Mm -hmm. So this again is recycling bottles. Let me mm -hmm. just grab a few of these. Mm -hmm. Um and I've, I've seen this quite commonly now. Mm -hmm. Oopsie, that one's Sorry. a little bit sticky, but okay. it's okay. Um, so, eh, okay, this looks like it was cutting a very serious something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but again, tell me about now this. So this would be something that you can just put on display in your house. Exactly. Or you can just open the, the cup and use it and put some flowers okay. on. It becomes a flower vase or even okay. just display it like that. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah, put mm -hmm. it in some flowers in mm -hmm. here. Then yeah. there's a glitter one. Mm -hmm. And I like that these are, you know when you're looking for, that time when you're looking for simple decorations for yeah. that birthday party mm, or yeah. a bridal shower, mm -hmm. a baby shower, mm -hmm. things that you know you're not going to go back to and use again and exactly. you don't want to spend a lot of money. Mm -hmm. yeah. This would be a great way. Oh, wait, now I have glitters all <laughs> over my hands. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Glitter everywhere, <laughs> <laughs> but um, this ob obviously would then be a very great way mm -hmm. to do it. Mm -hmm, yeah. um, okay, so you guys just started a month ago, or it, so. So okay, uh, yeah, as a group, we started a month ago. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. and where did you guys meet? Because you said there were six of you. So yeah. did you come together from school, or how well, did you, how so did you guys come together? Mm, actually. I used to do these things alone and then I was like, ah, you know what we really need? We need a group. It's always good to work as a team. Yeah. And so I had friends, she one, she'd be one of them. And she, we were from the same school doing the same course. Yeah. Uh, I, I approached her, she, she loved art and all that. And she was like, ah, I want to come in. Others from church and also others from different uh, volunteer group that right. deal, deal with environmental conservation. Okay. And also just to mention that our group is not mainly made of environmentalists. We have a nutritionist on board mm -hmm. and we also have an, an engineer. Okay. Yeah. So it's just not like environmental students alone because actually at the end of it, environmental pollution affects us all, sure. not just environmentalists alone. And is yeah. this something you're hoping to expand or like how big do you want this to grow? Is it, is it something that you're just looking at the six of you and then you want to turn it into a business or do you want to try and incorporate more young people into the work that you're doing? Um, well, yeah, it's something we're looking forward to grow as a team. Uh, as we mentioned, we just started as just the six of us, but next year we are looking forward to go deeper into schools, especially primary schools and teach kids about this. Mm -hmm. And also we are welcoming any other person on board, you know, because um, as Perpetual said here, uh, environmental conservation is just not a business of environmentalists alone. Mm. So we also would like to consider, especially men, because right now the group only consists of yeah. five ladies, uh, yeah. six ladies. So we look forward to probably incorporating uh, more guys and, you know, just going uh, to school and youth and any other person. So we look forward to growing uh, probably next year. Okay. Yeah, but not this year. Would you say a lot more young people are sort of trying to embrace conservation efforts, environmental conservation efforts, as well as, you know, climate change, and just looking at the sort of issues that the world is facing today. Are, are more young people sort of 
becoming aware of that of just how serious this issue is some of them they just yolo <laughs> and um just kind of living their own lives without that full understanding that it is really their generation and the generation that they give birth to that will be most affected by climate change and environmental degradation mm -hmm. so um actually uh it's not all of them let's maybe say half half there's those who know and they are aware and they are doing some something towards it to control it or to play their part. But there are, there are also others who don't even have any idea of what's going on. Or maybe they are like, ah, this is Kawaida, mm. you know, like uh, the climate change issue or this is not my issue. If, if my place is not is not affected by solid waste uh, pollution, that's mm -hmm. not my issue. It's someone else's issue. Mm -hmm. So let me just say some are aware and there are those who are not aware. Sure. Yeah. So we are trying to spread, spread the gospel so that everyone can be aware. Okay. Mm. Well, let me read some of the feedback that we have coming on. And I'm so scared I'm going to get glitter on my face and be shining for the rest <laughs> of the, <laughs> the show. But uh, Cindy Cardi says, wow, isn't this inspiring? <laughs> All right. Uh, Chacha Mrege Khadija says, by the way, Zinaka Poa, I like the skills. Um, uh, <laughs> Iman James. <laughs> Wanapata wapi rangi ya kupaint kwa zinakapua. I like it hata kama camera person na chukui picha pua tuone vizuri. Wololo director na my cameraman. Wololo umetuanishwa aje na Iman James. <laughs> Tuta wacha tukushikilie tena Iman James. Wacha tumshikilie tena. Wacha okay. Tuko na gani? Iman James this is especially for you for you to see these things once again. There we go. Kata <laughs> see Courtesy of our team. Wanasema when do you macho one? This is a plastic bottle. I'm so impressed with this yeah. one. Like I just can't even believe how you guys did this. Mm -hmm. And that's um, so quick. Making it is not even it like didn't 10 take minutes. a lot of time. Yeah. Okay. This one, that one, and this one for mm -hmm. sure. Hey, so Jim Charlie Kunja and how long this took. But this is super, super cool. Mm -hmm. All right, let me get to some other comments here. Iman James, I hope you're happy now. <laughs> um Beth Wawira, you say, Wow, that's beautiful real talent um prince moon says joyce i've got my eye on some of their stuff how can we buy them online please i'm in west indies eldorate uh, i don't know how it will be delivered i don't know if you guys are ready to start selling just yet yeah, yeah we are yeah? Yeah. yeah okay so maybe at the end you will give them your you know social, social media, media contacts and yeah. they can reach you that way esther gakuru i see you as well you're watching us from kangocho karatina um, on SMS, I have uh, Collins from Nakuru who says, Good morning, Joyce. Looking great. Art that conserves the environment. That's my favorite when it comes to this kind of art. Big up to these lovely ladies. Good job, he says. And uh, someone else here has some interesting suggestions or an interesting comment that they've posted. They say, Good morning, Joyce. Allow me to suggest uh, something about garbage management in our country. One, this is a problem that grows bigger by the day. Mm -hmm. Secondly, he says, Creating dump sites isn't a solution. It's contrary contributing to pollution and mass. The remedy is to set up a garbage processing and recycling, um, I guess garbage processing and recycling factors to produce usable products, manure, fertilizers, uh biogas etc if our leaders are serious in solving problems bedeviling our society they must allocate enough funds to research and implementation of research findings and task force reports that's from joram mwendwa or mwenda from meru what do you say about you know his sentiments here um, certainly creating dump sites, you know is is a very temporary solution um, but even for you guys long term your placards here are from you know rallies you were taking part in talking about environmental conservation and the truth is you know we won't be able to art will not consume you know all of the waste mm -hmm. that we have right so what is the big picture for you guys what else would you like to see this is a great solution obviously yeah. but um you know as you think beyond now here when you're thinking about scaling it even as the organization grows what are some of the things that you would like to see um, even as far as policy is concerned? Um, well, first of all, um, definitely as an organization, it's not like we are saying that we're happy just seeing the solid waste in our streets and maybe in our homes. Mm -hmm. So um, probably uh, the first thing we'd like to see uh, is a, a, a reduction of solid waste in our environment. And you know, um, this actually starts with the mindset of the people. That's why we, we as a team will consider 
being able to go into homes and telling them that you know at the end of the day it's not really about maybe someone probably will think that you know when you're telling them to conserve the environment maybe someone else is gaining from it because mm. you know like Joyce when you look at the uh, problem of plastic waste uh, I'm a plastic papers the ones that were banned uh, last year uh, it's so sad that you actually will walk into someone's uh, probably a mamamboga and still find them. Mm. And you know, it's interesting when you see how <laughs> sometimes you will not even understand where they pick them from because they hide it somewhere. Mm. It's like they live in fear of being caught by Nema because mm -hmm. these people were not in the first place were they even told where we are burning plastic. Mm -hmm. You see, someone will just say like probably you have until October to not use plastic papers. Right. But, but they don't understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. So they have... Na wawa to unawaribia to biashara. Yeah, sure. And you know, you, you'll you ask them like unazitua wapi and they'll fear like kwani wewe ni wanema, you see? Mm. Ama you ask them like, you know, um, do you think that this was a good solution? Ama do you think you were given solutions to plastic papers? So they'll tell you they were they were not given any solutions. And the solutions that are there, probably when you put like Sukuma Wiki in these reusable papers that they are given, in Atuanga Maji, who called Chini, so the customers will be complaining. So at the right. end of the day, even the person who's going to buy the Sukuma probably needs the plastic paper. Right. And you know, uh, the first thing we're supposed to do as a country and as leaders is probably to first change the mindset of the people and tell them, you know, this is environmental conservation. It doesn't mm -hmm. come because we are giving a fine to something that is there. We just need environmental conservation. Mm -hmm. And when you walk to your rivers, you see the garbage and the papers are blocking our rivers. It's not because it's something normal. Um, it's something that actually happens when you dispose papers. Mm. It's something that you actually need to start from your homes. Right. So yeah, changing the mindset of the people and ensuring that the policy, th the policies we have are actually enacted by the government. Right. Great yeah. points there. Great points there. Um, as we get ready to wind down, uh, let me read two final comments here. You people are awesome i'd love to buy your stuff that's hans juguna from garissa uh wow they've done it so perfectly tell them to keep the fire burning says someone else and so with that ladies maybe you can share with us how people can reach out and um find you and find more of your artwork and support what you're doing oh uh, so they can go to our social media pages uh on twitter we are Cree and our score waste at instagram the same and at facebook we are creative waste network yeah so they'll find our contacts there they can yeah, approaches. All right, yeah. all right. Well, thank you so much, ladies, for being here today. Congratulations on the good work. Do thank keep you. it up. Thank you. And uh, we appreciate you and celebrate what you're doing. And guys, I hope you guys have found some ideas for your next bridal shower, your next baby shower, your next kid's birthday, arts and crafts during the holiday, VBS. There's so much you could do yeah. with all of this stuff. So really great um, here talking to Gladys Njiru and Perpetual Wanjiku. With that said, we're going to take a short break now as we get ready for our next segment. Stay tuned. We're looking at change makers. This, uh, this I was going to say relationship Thursday, but this uh, Thursday here on Full Circle with Joyce. Stay tuned. <laughs> 